Hi, Tube Entertainment's Peter Johnson here with Jamie Goodman. Jamie is a well-known actor here in Austin, Texas. Some of his TV credits are Ed, Third Watch, All My Children, Another World, Guiding Light. He was also in a movie called Serendipity with John Cusack. But he also played a role in the first couple seasons of Sex and the City, and I believe that's what brings us here today. Jamie, could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, you know, it was a role that uh, kind of came at the right time. Uh, things hadn't been going real well. And, uh, I went on a casting call and they cast me as the Gherkin guy. The and, Gherkin guy. Yeah. And, you know, like, at first, you know, your agent calls and says, well, you got the job. And you just sit back and go, well, great. For those that don't know, Gherkin is a reference to a small pickle. It's sweet, but it's small. Let's let's cut to the chase, Chris. It's yeah. not a pickle. It's his penis. Oh. He had a small penis. They called him the Gherkin guy on the show. So, you know, I, I met other guys at auditions and everything. Well, I did an episode of Sex in the City. Well, what role did you play? Well, I played the Gherkin. Oh, I played the bell pepper. Not the bell pepper, the pepper grinder. Uh -huh. You know, pepper grinder. <laughs> Thanks for the nod. Oh, and here I was, the Gherkin. And I thought, you know... I've got to rise above, well, not rise above the situation, but I've got to get past this and say, you know, I know what my cojones are like. I know that I've got a member that satisfies women, and you just go ahead and do it. You know, it's one small, small role. And so I went ahead and I did the role, and, you know, after I did it, in the press, in the papers, you saw references to the Gherkin guy, the Gherkin guy, the Gherkin guy, and I went on casting calls and things like that, Casting people were just thought what a great role it was. You know, this was going to be huge for you. Well, not, not huge, but you know, it was going to be. Well, my my agent thought that I was going to get a lot of work out of it. Well, she was satisfied with your performance. Exactly. Yes. Satisfied with my performance. With my performance. Right. And let's separate Jamie from James. My real name is James, but there is a separation between Gherkin. So and member. what you're trying to get to today, folks, and this is why we're here, this was not a typecast. Is that what we're saying? Well, I'm, what I'm trying to get at is that this role changed my life, and not for the better. You know, afterwards, people say, oh, you're the Gherkin guy, you're the Gherkin guy. And can you imagine what that does for a guy's self-esteem? And every place everybody wanted to see it. Let's see it. Prove it. Prove it that you're not the Gherkin guy. And I said, well, give me a dime. And it came this running joke that every place I go, if I had a dime for every time people ask me that, well, they'd give me a dime. And I exposed myself. Party after party, I was there flailing it out for everybody to see that I wasn't the Gherkin guy. And it, well, it cost me my marriage. It cost me my career. And here I am in Austin, Texas, just trying to scrape a few dimes and nickels together. And I'm, I'm sorry to say, but... I've continued this on the street corners. I stand up with the guys on the mediums asking for dimes, but instead I have my phallus hanging out saying, I'm the Gherkin guy, give me a dime and see my picker. My, not my pickle, but my pecker. No pun intended. It gives a whole new meaning to Peeper Piper. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Sometimes humor replaces agony. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, and I... That's exactly right. Sex and the City, the movie has been announced. And you can imagine the groundswell of support for Don't that. Don't say swell. I'm sorry. Suffice to say, it must be hard, I mean, tough on you. Yes, it is. A wee bit tough. I think this is a time when friends should gather around and support to you. Thank you, Peter. I will do everything I can to get you in that movie. No matter how small oh, wait, it's wait, wait, no, 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 not small. I'm not going for small anymore. I want large. I a want large big. role. I don't want to be Mr. Big, but I'm going to be large, all right? I want an enhancement. I want to clip those cords and make it hang a little lower. Something. Not me, but James. James was a special character. I do believe. We've done some analysis. To be entertained, has done some analysis. And if we go back and study the men that Samantha has been with, right. I don't think her heart's ever been touched. 
Like many parts of her body have been touched, but not her heart. No, I don't think you're right. James penetrated that heart. He had trouble penetrating anything else. I think, yes, you're you're right. He did penetrate her heart. But I think he needs to penetrate her on a different level now. And I think maybe they found the root in the rainforest that he chews on each night and his member grows. And so he's come full circle. And they meet and they find each other and he drives it home. The point that he loves her and he reaches her heart. I think we've come a long way, folks, in nine years. And we're in nine years. inches. He could have nine inches now. And unless you have a dime, this is Peter Johnson. Do you have a dime? Cut you the tape. See it? Cut, cut the tape. Cut, cut.